What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys today. Samsung just released One UI 6.0 Beta 7 for the Galaxy S23 Ultra here in the United States this morning. It is Saturday, so a very weird time to get a beta launch, but hey, we'll take it. There was a, quite a few issues with Beta 6, including this really bad touch responsiveness bug that I made a video on yesterday. And so I really was curious to see if those things got fixed um, in today's video. And so we're gonna take a look at that today so you guys can kind of see. Um, I think things have improved quite a bit. I'll kind of show you some other people's experiences as well as mine. Before we get started, I want to thank my son, Jonathan. We have the dinosaur hanging out over here. We've got the Gallimimus today. Also, if you guys are going to be ordering a Galaxy S24, S24 Ultra, S24 Plus from the Samsung launch in January, please go to the link in the description in the pinned comment to sign up for one of my mystery boxes if you're in the United States. Put in your first name, last name, email address. Uh, all you have to do is use our Samsung affiliate link at launch and you're going to get a free case free cleaning kit, as well as a free desktop phone stand. I actually have one right here. I'm at my home office today. This is the desktop phone stand for my friends at Lamacall. Folds up, it's a nice travel stand. Um, some other random accessories that'll be coming this year as well. And we're really, really excited to do this. Check out the link in the pinned comment description to sign up. So let's go ahead and go in here, take a look at the update that I got this morning. Scroll down to software update. Last update, there it is, software version. One UI 6.0 S, oh, sorry, ZWJC. Uh, you can see down here, 710.57 megabytes here. This is the US unlocked model. And of course, security patch is still October 1st, 2023. So this is not the stable update, still in the beta. This is the first time I can remember in, I don't know, since I've been doing betas, which I've been doing the Samsung betas, I think since they started offering them for the S line, I don't ever remember having seven beta launches. So it seems like this year we have a lot more testing happening maybe to iron out more issues. Let's go through the bugs that have been fixed. Fix the issue that quick panel sometimes cannot be opened on the home screen. There was an issue where if you swiped for the quick gesture like I did here, you guys saw me in the video from the right corner that it wouldn't open the quick panel properly. Improve screen blinking sometimes when rotating horizontally and vertically. I did not experience that issue, but there's always gonna be some stuff that people, that are rare issues that some people experience. Improve boot slow encryption call algorithm. I don't really know what that's about to be honest either. Fix the issue of long input of volume key is not recognized during proximity sensor operation. Can't say that I had that issue either. That's like a very, very specific thing. Um, fix the issue that the navigation bar gesture cannot be touched. This I certainly did actually notice quite a bit. Um, slow further improvement. Improvements of camera crash and fail and many other improvements. Now, they don't specifically mention the one issue that I talked about quite a bit and a lot of other people talked about, which was the touch responsiveness issue. And I made a video about this the other day. Basically, if you're opening a bunch of apps, opening and closing a bunch of different stuff, the issue that you have and the issue that you'll see is that sometimes when you're opening and closing a bunch of different applications, you end up having this touch issue where it doesn't recognize your touch on one of the icons. So actually, if you go back to my video from yesterday, I did a whole bunch of open and closes of various apps, and you can actually see it does freeze up at one point. So it freezes up and doesn't work at one point as I was going through and doing that. So it does seem at least from my initial experience, I don't wanna say they've definitely fixed it because I've only had this update for about four hours, but it certainly seems in using this early on that they fixed it quite a bit. The animations also seem to be a little smoother in this one. So not only is the touch response fixed, but it also seems like the animations are a little bit better as well. I mean, I've certainly had a better go with it on this particular version so far. Now, if we take it over to Twitter, we can also see a couple of other people that I trust. Tarun, who I've mentioned many times, covers Samsung software over on Twitter. He also posted his experience saying it was the smoothest and the most responsive animations. You'll never wanna go back, just small glitches. And then over here, he does the return to home animations at 1X like I did. And he also says that the issue is fixed when you close an app and immediately open the next one, the screen may not respond to touch. He's saying that this issue, it looks like it's fixed, but in the gallery, it's not fixed. So he's saying there's some issues in the gallery. I haven't really played around with this too much today, but this could be an issue where you need to update the gallery application. So Samsung might be pushing an update out to the gallery application. I think he's talking about when you open a photo, close a photo, and then open another photo immediately in the gallery app, that that issue still has some touch responsive problems. So I'll have to play with that, but it seems like by and large, opening apps and opening another one, the touch response issue seems to be fixed. 
Now, there aren't any new features in this build. I mean, at this point, seven betas in, obviously, we're really just working towards stability and fluidity for the official release. But, I mean, everything seems really fluid. I haven't found any new features. I looked around in lots of different things. There aren't any significant updates to any applications either. There was a nice update to some of the GoodLock apps, which I actually made another video on that. That'll be coming tomorrow, probably. Uh, Samsung made a nice update to QuickStar, which lets you edit your Quick Panel. And now you can change the spacing. If you guys are wondering how I have such a dense spacing here, you can now change the spacing between your Quick Toggles in the One UI 6 Auto Quick Panel, which makes this look a lot cleaner and it'll give you a lot more information there. Some people didn't like all that wasted space and I was one of those people who complained about that uh, in the beta feedback. Anyway, I expect the stable beta to probably come in the next week or two. Very excited about that. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see all the new features. Of course, we'll be covering all the new stuff again for the people who didn't really watch during the beta process so I can let people know what's new with One UI 6.0. A lot more people are gonna get it once it rolls out in stable. If you are gonna be ordering an S24, S24 Ultra, S24 Plus, hit the link in the description if you're in the US to sign up for the Mystery Box program. We'd love to do that for the community. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.